Thanks for coming out to the taste tonight. Uh, I'm Jonathan Gold, the LA Times restaurant critic, and I don't think anybody needs an introduction to our guest star tonight, but it's Danny <laughs> Star of stage and screen and uh, tacos. Yeah, now tacos and donuts. <laughs> So, um, I, I know it's the most obvious question of all, but, you know, you're so well known as an actor, and you, you, I mean, you do more movies than most people, like, start the car. Um, what made you decide to, like, uh, start going into the taco business as well? Well, you know, a restaurant has been my mom's, like, dream. There's a great cook. So my mom is just an unbelievable cook. And uh, one of those days that everybody goes to her house on Christmas and Thanksgiving when, when she was alive. And uh, uh, we would always talk about starting a restaurant because in Latino families, you have great dinners like the first part of the month. But by the end of the month, you have to like start like uh, inventing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and we had uh, I said, what's this? Well, out of the cupboard, never mind. You know, and what's this? We mix it. You know, just all these recipes they just were just made up. And uh, so I would always, Mom, we should start a restaurant. And he's like, start talking about a restaurant. You know, just kind of like dreaming. And my dad, my dad was kind of the Mexican Archie Bunker of the '50s. You know what I mean? He would come out with something like. You know what, I got a kitchen right there. I think I both get back to it. You know, and, and so, because in the 50s, you know, women weren't really expected to, like, go out and open a restaurant, you know. And uh, so just anytime we wanted to piss him off, we'd start, like, talking about menus. And I would always say, Trails Tacos. You're just kidding. Me. I was doing a movie called Badass. This is years later, right? 50 years later. And uh, the producer, Ash, he saw that I love food, I love to eat. And so he said, okay, why don't you start a restaurant? And joking, and trails talk over He, uh, the first, we did Badass, then we did Badass 2, another brilliant movie. Mm -hmm. And then we did Badass on the Bayou with Danny Glover, absolutely should have won an Oscar. And uh, it should have. And, uh, I flew a plane, and, uh, and uh, uh, he came to with a business plan, and they just kind of said, you know, here, check this out. So uh, I, I, I showed the business plan to my uh, my agent, Gloria Nahosa, and my secretary, Mary Matipo, just, she's here, she's right over there. And, uh, and they kind of said, especially because you know what you can't lose is the first time you're doing a business plan, and somebody's not, there's a one five hundred grand up front, you know what I mean? So this is like really fair and uh, more than fair. And so, uh, and then Ash kind of said, you know, we have a we have a chance to brand this. Okay, now branding to me it kind of means like burning a initial in a cow's ass, you know? <laughs> it does. That's what branding means. Yeah. I didn't really understand what they were talking about. And then when they started talking about t-shirts and this and that, said, let's do it. And we did a, opened up Trejo's Tacos on uh, La Brea between Hollywood and Sunset, and it killed it. It was just like unbelievable. Oh, it's alive. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It was like, wow. And then, but, you know, celebrities think that they can like put their name on something and then just, go back to New York or to wherever you know. and, and, and you will come one time to see the celebrity and maybe get a picture. But if the food's not good, you're not coming back. And I'm so proud to say that a lot of our business is returned, people coming back, because the food is delicious. And we keep a certain standard, and you're like, I like it, I gotta like it. And it's gotta taste like what my mom cooked. You know? and, it's really healthy food. And then we opened up Trejo's Cantina on, uh, right down the street on, on, uh, on, uh, oh 
Kawanga, it's my daughter, thank you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Kawanga and uh, between Hollywood and Sunset, right on the corner of Sunset. And again, bam, and I'm thinking, man, that's right next to another restaurant. We killed her. You know what I mean? We just killed her. And people like really love the food again. So then now we opened up one on, on the Pasadena Playhouse. It's never empty, but there's no line. You know, it's a big enough to where this you can serve a lot of about a hundred people. And then we're opening up another one next month at USC Village. And then the month after that, we're opening up one at Warner Center. And and somebody asked me if I was gonna franchise. So I I, I went and I asked Ash, you know, and Jeff the brains of outfit. I literally said, you know what? When you franchise, you lose quality control because we don't know what they're cooking or how they do and we like the food that we, that we do so i think maybe we might franchise the donut shop you know that's on on santa monica boulevard highway we've got some very unique donuts there that people really love and that's how i got into the business and it's doing really well thank you thank you thank you very cool i mean a, a lot of <coughs> Quote unquote, so, you know, celebrity restaurants, they'll put their name on it. They won't have a lot to do with the product. I mean, you know, my, my mom used to go to Alan Hale's Lobster Barrel, but I don't think she ever thought that uh, the skipper was cooking the uh, lobster. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you, you so often have um, so much food in your room, especially what you've done with Robert Rodriguez. And people look at you and they get hungry because you're thinking of those trucks. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, you know, like I've got over 360 movies, I think. Mm -hmm. And, but, so, uh, yeah, I, I have a reputation of doing good work. You know what I mean? So, uh, I want to do the same thing with the <laughs> restaurant. You know, I don't, nobody goes away, uh, 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 I'm happy. And, uh, uh, we have gluten-free, we have uh, vegetarian, we have vegan, and then we have carne asada and uh, carnitas and, <laughs> and everything else. So, so we kind of took care of it. But the reason we did that is in the entertainment field, usually like there'll be 10 of you that want to go to dinner. And two will say, you know what, uh, I'll just get a salad, you know, because I'm vegan or, or and now, uh, doctors have said that children that are autistic uh, shouldn't eat gluten. Not that it's bad for them, but it's not good for them. And, and it, it, uh, it helps keep the uh, episodes down. So, so we've got the gluten-free restaurant. We're getting a lot of families that have kids that are, that are autistic. And it's like mothers have said, this is the only place we can come and eat. And, and everybody can order, you know. That's one of the great things about tortillas. Yeah, yeah you got it. Anywhere. Tacos, you know what I mean? It's like gluten-free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you eating the jackfruit tacos yourself? Oh, Jack, yeah, you know what I gotta say? That's, I love that, I didn't think I would. But that jackfruit is like, it's delicious. It's like on my meat almost, but it's not. And uh, so I've given it to some of my friends and they, Eating it, that's really good. We get to get some tech. And then we have a, they gave me a cauliflower taco, and I ate it, and I thought it was delicious, right? This is cauliflower. And I said, well, it's delicious, but don't tell anybody I like it. <laughs> you know, come on, man. My chick that don't eat cauliflower. <laughs> but it was really good. You know, so they, uh, they managed to taste to make the taste of all the food really delicious. So uh, when, when you have friends over to your house and you're, and you're cooking in the backyard, assuming that you do, do you just like spread out the carne or? Uh, we also have a taco truck. <laughs> <laughs> Break the truck, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and that's, got, that's got a great menu. Our taco truck is really at a, uh, the, uh, every Rams home game, you know, so we get to get the Rams game free, and uh, and uh, you know that, that taco truck is doing that really well. 
Uh, can I ask you a, a food question related to a movie? Sure. Is that one thing I've always wondered is like in Machete, um, she cracks the egg and yeah. puts it under yeah. the bed. That's, that's, yeah. And then they cut back to it twice, but you never know what the egg's doing under the bed. What's that egg doing under the bed? Actually, one of the things that it's a, it's a myth in, in Mexican Mexican folklore <laughs> that if you're sick and you crack an egg under the bed, by the time you wake up in the morning, the egg will already be fried. Okay? So their fever will have gone out through the egg and uh, wasted a lot of eggs. <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> but you know, different myths so, uh, and uh, that's you know, Michelle Rodriguez, she has to make anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, one of my things to watch ever is that uh, Rodriguez video of him like making uh, tacos. Unbelievable quote. Honest to God, I was doing a voiceover for one of, the, one of the films we did, he was writing the music and cooking a pizza. Yeah. I mean, and that's, he's, you know, he's like my son, ADD, he's like he's five things at once, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, but that's, that's, you know, I, 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 that's, I guess that's a, what he loves to do. You know, he loves to make movies. I think that's one of the reasons that people love his movies so much is because he's a big fan of movies. You know, and so he knows what fans love. I'm still doing film, I'm still doing a lot of film. My son just wrote a, uh, a film that's you know, tragically, unbelievably beautiful. You know what I mean? And uh, it's called From a Son, and we'll probably be going into production the, either the in November, when Gilbert was next November, oh, November, and uh, it's, I'm starring in it, and then uh, Henry Hopper, Dennis Hopper's son is co-starring, my son's directing it, so uh, it's, gonna, I mean, gonna be, it's really funny to be directed by your son. I did a movie called, uh, what was it, China, China Test Girl, no one's one yet. We did a, a movie called China Test Girl with Frankie Latina, and he was a, uh, Directing and it was so funny to have my son come up and go, Dad, Dad, tone it down a little, you're overacting, okay? <laughs> come on! <laughs> I've been dying to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gotta be strange getting notes from your son. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful, but it's kind of cool. Uh, and my daughter's the one taking a picture for me. <laughs> so uh, w when, you, when you were growing up in Los Angeles, um, did you ever, eat, did, when you ate outside of the house, what, what are some of the old places that you loved growing up? Well, some of my favorite restaurants even today, like, number one is Musso and Frank's. I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> and then uh, you go to Musso and Frank's to dine, you go to the pantry to eat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I've been going to the pantry since the 50s. You know? uh, uh, I, I love the pantry. I love Musso and Frank's. The Pacific Dining Car, because it's open 24 hours. It's a little higher end than the, than the pantry. You know? uh, and then Trejo's Cantina now. You know, it's like, uh, we eat there quite often. And uh, what I do is I'll always take like, like five friends and have them order, everybody order something different. And then that way we see like just the quality of the food. Hey, this is good, this is really good. And then I get to sign autographs and take pictures with everybody. But it's like, I was going like, you know, like twice a week. And then I started going like, I tried to go twice a week. Well, we gonna have six restaurants, I'm not, <laughs> you know, so I go once a week. Have you, have you always been really particular about the food you ate? Yes. Well, uh, yes, but like in prison, it's really hard to be particular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but I've always, you know, enjoyed good food. You know, I mean, uh, and if you, uh, 
if you have like a little status in prison, you get good food. Uh, two of my friends work for the ODR, the officer's dining room, so they would bring good food. That's cool. <laughs> um, you, you famously became sober a few years ago. Yeah. And hey, how, how has that affected your life and how has it affected your eating life? Well, well you know what? It's like uh, uh, I got sober when I was 24 years old. I've been sober and clean for 49 years. And, and uh, they promised me that if I stayed clean and sober, my life would get progressively better. And I got to say that today's my life is a dream because I'm clean and sober. And uh, uh, I think it's you know it's given it's given me the tools to deal with any situation whatsoever, and uh, uh, and to deal with it in a. Uh, kind of like a spiritual way of thinking, you know? Sometimes. You know, sometimes you still gotta flip somebody off on the freeway. <laughs> Here spiritually is something. <laughs> but your character in movies are often like Yeah, yeah. Ice tea. Uh, a lot of iced tea and uh, uh, a lot of uh, they do something else too. I forget. They mix something with something. But I know I never treat myself. You know, it's I, I, it's funny because I remember doing a music video where somebody was supposed to smoke some weed, not me, right? And they usually give like fake, mm -hmm. you know. And <laughs> this guy was like really smoking weed, and so. By about the fifth take, he's go, he just lies for half the time. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so that's why they, you know, they don't get real stuff. Uh, I, I'm gathering this wasn't cheap. <laughs> God, I love working with him. He's awesome. I keep telling him, hey, Cheech, let's, you know what, why don't we do a movie like a, like I was born in East LA, why don't we do something like that? Like born in East LA, and we go down to T and go shut up, there you go. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I was looking at uh, Machete again this afternoon, as one tends to do a lot. And it was, it was striking me that there were a lot of like kind of a, uh, creepily a lot of parallels to some of the stuff going down now, including, yeah. Yeah. including you know, a guy who wants to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it. <laughs> yeah, no, Robert, Robert Rodriguez is a genius, okay, and then uh, uh, he, uh, he's uh, unbelievable as far as like his ideas and, uh, you know, in that, I jumped out of a window holding on to some guts. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and uh, it's like he comes up with these ideas, and it's like he'll go, he'll go home, and come back with another idea. And Quentin Tarantino, if Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez are having a conversation, and you walk in between them, you will get electrocuted. <laughs> and that much energy to move them. I've sat down to dinner with them, and they've started talking. By the end of dinner, they've got a movie. You know, they might not make it, but there's another movie, you know? And I'm sure, can I be in it? Hey, can I be in it? Hey, hey, where's the Mexican guy? You know? <laughs> but they're really, really geniuses. And uh, and it, it's, it's strange how Machete is, is, is going right along with what's happening right now. Yeah. Um, we could probably use a machete. Uh, yeah. Um, is there is there a kind of movie you'd like to make that you haven't done so far? You, you know what, uh, Jonathan? I I, uh, I love western. I absolutely love western. And uh, there was a a movie called uh, Valdez is Coming. Great movie, right? And uh, I, I I love Josie Wales with Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. God, I love that movie. And those those types of gritty 
westerns is I love them. Once upon a time in the West with Charles Bronson and Henry Fonda. Those are like unbelievable movies, right? John Wayne. My son just got back from uh, uh, Monument Valley, where, where he before did all his all his movies, and just to see those epic scenes. Like that's kind of what I the kind of movie I want to do. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, that would give me a lot of fun. Okay, let's fund it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay.